Today, of course, being the election and uh, government budgets, man, they are, it's all about government budgets. But regardless of the outcome of this election, you can bet that the tax man will be looking to keep those government coffers full. That's right. You know, we've always heard stories about celebrity run-ins with the IRS. Well, the tax man is increasingly camping, clamping down on the regular Joes and Janes and joining us to talk about it. It's tax attorney Ronson Shamoon. How you doing, Ronson? I'm doing good. How are you guys doing? All right. So, uh, you know, like, like I had said, you know, we always hear these stories about the celebrities uh, in the news. And let's take a look at some of these from uh, 2009. There were certainly a lot of tax scoff laws out there in Hollywood. Yeah. Right? Steve Harvey, 2.1 million. Right. It's amazing to me. How does this guy not have an, uh, an account? Terrence Howard, 1.1 million. Academy Snoop Award Dog, winner. Almost uh, uh, half or more than a half a million. Pamela Anderson, almost a half million. Are these celebrities, are, are they boneheads or, or do they have a legitimate beef with the IRS? They live above their means. A lot of people just spend more money than they make. At the end of the year when you have to file your taxes, you don't have the money. There you go. Okay. All right. Now let's talk about the average, the average Joes and Janes, as we mentioned, though, in terms of breaking it down for us. And nobody wants to get audited by the IRS, so what are some of the things, some of the red flags that you can send up on your return? A lot of people use even numbers, 5,000, 10,000, 11,000. You have to use an exact number for a tax return, so that raises a red flag. Okay. A lot of people use a lot of charitable contributions. They look at that and see in proportion to your income. If it's high, they're going to wonder, this guy's not donating that much money if he's making that little bit of money or unreimbursed business expenses. If those are high, they're gonna say, this guy's not putting that much money into his business and again, not that much getting in return, so that's a red flag as well. Okay, now um, what about, uh, let's say that the tax man does come calling, what do we do? Like you get that audit in the mail, what happens? Well, you get an audit that says you've been selected for exam. The first thing you should do is be truthful with the auditor. If you're gonna make a false statement, then you should hire help. Another thing is to get organized. Someone help you lie? What do you mean? <laughs> well, I mean, if, you, if, if you've done something that you don't want them to find out about, if right. you've over-reported some uh, deductions or under-reported income, did some sneaky transactions, then get help because they'll set you up, they'll start talking to you and try to get some information out of you. So if you have something to hide, get somebody to help you right away. Don't handle it by yourself. Okay. It's good. Um, and, and why do you think that we are seeing such a such an increase in the amount of audits that are happening? Well, I mean, across the country, businesses are suffering. Right now, the government needs money just like small businesses do. People are not making money, so they're paying less taxes. And Obama's spending lots of money on all these government programs, so the government needs more money. They're spending more, and the revenue has gone down a lot because the economy's in pain. So the way for them to get more money instead of raising taxes is to audit more people or go after people who owe back taxes and trying to collect from them more so it's a way for them to get more money because they need it okay what would you recommend to safeguard us against being audited uh, go to a professional don't do tax returns yourself if you get if somebody who's qualified like a certified public accountant they'll most likely we're gonna know have what to leave doing. it there good advice though we're back in just a moment